training begin? <laughs> the Able Fire Training Facility, located in Burnsville, is officially open for burning. The new facility, part of a continued collaboration between Apple Valley, Burnsville, Lakeville, and Egan, is a marked upgrade in both size and functionality. The new facility takes a training tower in a burn facility and puts it into one. Our old building was about 800 square feet. This one's about 5,000 square feet. And what it allows us to do is it allows us to train in every room where before our, our building that we had, we could only burn in one room. Now we can burn in 14 different rooms. Well, for the community as a whole, what they will know and learn is that the people who will be responding to them, our firefighters, our paramedics and police, will have practiced over and over again to meet all of the different kinds of challenges. So they will be ensured about their public safety. The original ABLE facility was born out of a joint powers agreement between the four cities more than 20 years ago. And with the new facility up and running, it represents a continued collaboration between the communities south of the river. Four ABLE cities work very, very well together. It's a great partnership, it's a great use of city resources, and it makes it a lot more economical. And this facility will likely last us 25 to 30 years and, and train a number of firefighters in the future and make them very competent and proficient at their jobs. It's that collaboration and working together before you need each other in a real emergency. And it, and it gets our cities ready to respond to emergencies to help each other out a lot, a lot better. For Burnsville Community Television, this has been Dane Whitehead.